guys, it's your girl Melissa, and today we're having Chipotle. I'm trying that viral Chipotle hack. I don't really understand why it's called a hack, um, but it's the steak quesadilla with fajitas. Um, I didn't know how to order it online with the fajitas built into it, so I'm going to have to assemble it, and I'll be right back. Ta-da! So I did that off camera just because it was kind of messy. So I've never had, what am I trying to say? I typically don't order steak. I usually order chicken. And as far as I can remember, I've never had their quesadilla. So I'm pretty excited. Um, part of that hack is also taking some sour cream and mix it in, mix it in, it into the vinaigrette. Mmm, like how much do I add? I love sour cream, by the way, but I don't want to overdo it. So then you just shake it up. So if I'm not mistaken, you can only order the adult size quesadilla online my app was tweaking out let's have a bite i'm so excited oh. like my mouth's literally watering Yum. Mm, this steak is kind of tough. But the flavor, oh my God. Mm-hmm. I'll give that a nine and a half out of 10. I'm a little disappointed with how small it is. I felt like everyone else's that I'd seen who'd order this, I felt like the quesadillas were a lot bigger, but anyway, my total meal was about $17, which is quite pricey, but I did order um, a side of guac and chips too. So why I was saying why I don't understand why it's called a hack is because a hack to me is something that makes your life easier, simpler. The corn by itself is really good. Or something that's cheaper. Make something cheaper like how their Starbucks hacks, how their drinks are $7, but if you were to order it like this, you can get it exactly the same way, tastes the same, but for only $3, you know? So I don't understand the, the hack part of it. I do know in the past, there's this one channel that I follow, Mel's and Chris, where they said, it's more cost effective if you order like the kids meal because it's cheaper like maybe order two because i think it's only like five something and then you get the same amount as if you were to order you know one adult size one but i wanted to order it as is so I couldn't figure out how to order the fajitas into it. Like I said, the app was tweaking out, so I had to order it on the website. And it wouldn't allow me to order the fajitas. So when I got there, I just asked for the vinaigrette and the fajitas on the side. And then just added it into it. Which is no big deal at all. super tasty. I wonder how it would be with the other proteins like barbacoa or carnitas. I 
I know some people said it tasted like cheesesteak. It does not. I actually do like the fajitas, even though I don't typically like my fajitas or like my red bell peppers, my green bell green bell peppers to be hard. When they're sauteed, I like them to be super soft. If you know me, I'm also an extra cheese kind of girl. And I couldn't figure out how to add extra cheese on their website. It's honestly the sauce for me. I wish I would have asked for two vinaigrettes. Anywho, how are you guys? We are doing well. Um, hubby has been trying to get back to filming with me. We just can't really time it correctly. Whew. The vinaigrette has a little bit of a kick, but it still makes my nose run. I'm really feeling the corn. Yum. So... It's really good. Would I order it again? I feel like I really like their, their bowls. Like I said, for me, it's the sauce that's doing it. I'd honestly order a burrito over the quesadilla. I just don't feel like you get as much. Like, not for what you're paying for, anyway. I'd rather order a bowl and then ask for, like, a couple of tortillas on the side. And making my own whatever burrito, quesadilla. Okay, but anything. Okay, but anyway. Hubby and I have just been budgeting. We used to budget really heavily before Charlotte was around. When she came, we really, like, just dropped everything. And it's just the way it was, you know? Lack of time. <laughs> lack of energy. And, like, now that we're budgeting again... You just realize how much you spend. Spend, spend, spend. It's all the little things. And then next thing you know, you're spending more than you're making. What are your guys' thoughts about using credit cards? Are you for it? If you follow like Dave Ramsey... He's like, no credit card, pay off your debt. I like the thought of using credit cards for building credit. Also, if there's like fraudulent activity, it's easier to dispute a credit card fraud versus like something that's on your debit card or like the process takes a lot longer if it's on a debit card. Um, but at the same time, we're kind of at a point in our lives where we're not trying to like 
buy another house or a car so we don't really need our credit score to be super outstanding. Because when you're using a credit card, Lord, help me. When you're using a credit card, it's just so easy to swipe, swipe, swipe. At least for me and hubby anyway. Versus if we're just using our debit card, we're constantly looking at our bank statement. Like, can we afford this? You know, and with budgeting comes having to say no to things. Hubby and I are very, like, we love going to places, doing things. We're always down. But now we're kind of having to say no to things, which sucks because we get really FOMO. Sometimes it's just having to sacrifice small things in the meantime for the bigger picture. Mm. I'm so sad. I'm so sad that my quesadilla is almost done. <clears throat> I would totally recommend trying this. I just wish the steak was a little more tender. Ooh, if you can't handle spice, or don't even like spice, you're not gonna like the vinaigrette. I'm almost done. I should have asked for do. So anyways, I have been pretty transparent with you guys about my anxiety. And recently it's been really bad. <clears throat> and hubby and I had a talk yesterday, which I think really, really helped. He always kind of grounds me. Not that he was trying to, like, minimize my anxiety or, like, make fun of it or anyone else's, but he really put into perspective that a lot of the things that I worry about, they're, they're kind of comical. Like, as an example, A lot of things in our house have been breaking. The garage, the heater, um, God, what else? Just a list of things, right? And the way he put it was, look at the things that we're complaining about. It's silly almost because we have those things to complain about, you know? We have a heater it's just malfunctioning in the meantime. Um, we have a house that people would die to have the things that we have, you know? Like our problems are so small. And he's so right. Do you know when I start my day off just being thankful and listing the thing? Thank you for my house. Thank you for my daughter. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for food to eat. For clothes. Like I'm over here anxious because I have several loads of laundry to do that I didn't get done. Like, but I have clothes. <laughs>
when you just start switching your mindset, it does kind of sound silly. Then, then I can laugh at it. And it doesn't sound so bad. And my anxiety starts to lessen. So for you guys, um, if you deal with the same and your anxieties are about the same kinds of things, hopefully practice that and it helps. <laughs> Like, I'm upset because my house is dirty, but I have a house. <laughs> and I was just reflecting with hubby how the young Melissa would die to be where I'm at now. You know, where I'm at in life, um, my job marriage, kids. Like, we have it all. But we always want more. Which is totally not wrong to have more aspirations, you know? To want to do better. I think that's just, like, natural inclination or human desire. But it becomes a problem when you take for granted what you have now. By the way, if you order the quesadilla, it does come in this meal. And Oh my god you can actually pick what sides you want i just so happen to pick these ones but you could do like the rice beans this was not big enough <laughs> like to me this is not very filling To me, this is like a kid's meal. For what I usually eat on, during a mukbang. Anywho. I feel like that mukbang was very brief. But anyways, I just wanted to try it. I think you guys should give it a try. I will see you next time. I feel like I couldn't talk during this video. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see this face again, keep it yummy. Mwah.